Another digital tool that I'd like to share with you today is called Test Teach with Blend Space. Um, I like to just call it Blend Space for short, but it really does create interactive digital lessons in a pretty quick period of time. Um, what you can do with Blend Space is create sort of lessons that students can complete at their own pace, give them all kinds of really cool engaging activities to do, and then monitor their progress at the same time that they're completing everything. So I'm going to log into my account so I can show you some examples of how it looks. And my students have completed a couple of these last year. Um, one that I really enjoyed was the should Andrew Jackson remain on the $20 bill. So I'm going to open this lesson so you can see what it looks like. So basically what you have in blend space is a series of rows of different blocks, which is also really good to chunk information for your students. So if they have trouble completing tasks that are very involved with lots of different steps, blend space is definitely a way to um, break down the pieces of the directions that they have to do. So if you hit the play button, you can see there's all kinds of uh, different things. You have PDF files, quizzes embedded, links, also you can have YouTube videos and images that the students can um, interact with. So I'm going to hit the play video so you can get an idea of what it looks like. This is their task in the beginning. I like to sort of start off with explaining to them what exactly they're going to have to do. So, you know, start with the end in mind. And you can also see that I've asked them a question before they've even started, whether they know anything about Jackson or what's their preconceived idea of whether he should stay on the $20 bill or not. And each the students can interact with each other and add comments. They could respond to each other and you know explain what they think and they could do this on every tab so I'm gonna click through there's a video that the students had to watch there's a map with a question that they had to answer there is another video an image that they had to use or look at they had a website to go to and then they had a quiz with a couple of questions and some more discussion. So you can see that this is this is a good way for students to um, not see a huge project in front of them, but just see little pieces at a time that they have to complete. And there are so many really cool things out there on the internet. I even believe this was a this was a primary source that I had found about you know somebody who was part of the Trail of Tears later on that happened after Jackson. So you really could involve the students a lot in this and um, this would be really good for flipped lessons as well if you had the opportunity to um, have your students use technology from home. You could have them do a lot of this stuff at home before they even came into school. Um, I think one of my favorite things about Blend Space is that it really goes at the pace of the student. If they you know, are slower to complete things, they can go at their own time and they could still see and participate in all the comments of their classmates when the time comes. Um, another thing that was really interesting about Blend Space recently is that you can, they also have an iPad app. So if your school does not have laptops or Chromebooks, but you do have access to iPads, they also have an iPad app, which um, I haven't used, but it's probably really fun too. So if you wanted to create your own blend space, I'm going to go back to my account. And you could just start with a new lesson. And it's basically blank. And you have the opportunity to use all of these search areas on the side, and you can insert you know, things from your Google Drive, you can search YouTube videos, any Google links, you can search Google. And once you start dropping and placing resources here, um, they're very easy to move around. So if you realize you forgot a step, you can always go back and just drop it and it'll automatically uh, realign everything that you already have. So you'll never lose anything. It's a really great resource. I hope you um, give it a try with your students and that they really like 
using it. Good luck.